Uy. <laughs> Guys. It's 7.30. I don't know why I'm up this early. <laughs> well. Okay, so. Recently I've been waking up really late. And I would get super mad at myself. Because I would be less productive and everything. So. Today was the first day of me waking up early. Yeah! We love change. Um, but yeah, so today I decided to wake up at 7.30. And today I just wanted to do like a morning get ready with me while I do my Q&A. I asked you guys on my Instagram way back, I think, for questions and advice and everything. So yeah, I'm going to do that video while I do my makeup. So really exciting stuff. And yeah, so now let's get ready. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So now we're gonna move on to the makeup so I look more alive. Let's start with skincare. Okay. So now I'm just doing my everyday makeup look. Nothing special. So yeah, let's just get to it while I do my makeup. Paano ako makakapag share ng word of God to my not church goer friends? Okay. Hmm, okay. Um, I feel like everyone's beliefs are different and we can approach this in different ways. Don't just go straight up, you know, God, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I feel like they'll understand or really listen to you if you share how God changed you. It's more like, wow, you know, it hits a soft spot. So I guess that's really important. Like if you just hit the soft part and then they'll have this opening and then that's when you can share, you know, like, you know, in the Bible. Okay, any advice for seeking happiness? Okay, don't, you don't need to seek happiness from people. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, but I can find it in like this guy. When I'm with this guy or this girl, I feel so happy. But then that's only temporary girl or guy if you're watching this. I mean, you can find happiness in people, but it's only temporary happiness. Happiness can only be found in God. Like true happiness can only be found in God. And before, um, before I really got like this really genuine relationship with him, with God, with God, <laughs> um, it it ma really made me realize because before I used to always be dependent on other people and that would really bring me down because I would be left disappointed and um, left behind and we don't want that for anybody and if you lean into other people um, it's just not gonna end up well and also be happy with yourself like um, with with what you're doing, how successful you are in school, you know those basic stuff. It can really put you in a place of fulfillment. So I guess if you if you put God in the center and you love yourself, I feel like that is happiness. Not by other people, not getting into relationships, nothing like that. Just find it in Him and only Him. Next question. Is there any sin that God can't forgive? Of course not. Okay, how to stay away from bad slash toxic influence. Okay, I got this a lot actually and I can relate so much to it. Um, okay. So, when it comes to friends, we can sometimes get carried away and we don't realize if they can actually help us grow or actually bring us down and it's because we're so focused sometimes on oh my gosh she's my friend you know what she did this one time but like are they really helping you become a better person or they're just there to use you it's 
you just really have to think about that well because before sometimes you always get to caught up like oh my gosh they're my only friends like what happens if they're gone girl there are other people <laughs> that your time will be worth it on like if you spend it on people that love you you know it's more worth it honestly like you don't want to be wasting your time on people with bad influence so i guess the first step to staying away is know your stand you have to know what you want which is good friends and you know good influence i feel like that also comes in line with how to ignore that behavior and first i really think you have to know who you are in him because if you're stable in that then no one else can shake you it's definitely a process of like knowing oh i'm loved oh i'm i'm beautiful you know it, it's a process of you getting you know really knowing who you are but i feel like once you do that like every day and look at the mirror and say you're beautiful or you're you know you know those simple stuff i feel like that can make such a big difference because it will make you look at yourself differently in a good way that will really help you know if the people around you are helping you grow Ooh, she snapped though people hating okay in social media especially in social media there can be haters a lot of haters and that can really get to you um but as i said earlier you have to know who you are in him so you won't be shaken with what's happening around you because uh, girl i went through that man i used to take in whatever a lot of people would say about me but i learned that they're just jealous of you girl and at the end of it they're not gonna matter anyway like if if you're in school and there's this bad girl or whatever she's not gonna she's not gonna matter in five years i mean like so don't waste your time on being sad or whatever because life's too short for that so to me i suggest read the bible know who you are more in him have a genuine and strong relationship with him and you won't be shaken so yeah and there are definitely friends out there that will help you and with people hating always be around people that will bring you up and will help you grow so yeah next question what are you supposed to do when you feel left out from a group of friends i can definitely relate to this um so i feel like when you feel left out they won't know that until you tell them i suggest you talk to them individually not as a group but individually so that you can hit their soft spot i guess and really let them know what you're feeling and to me that really helped me before but then if they're not if they don't change after that girl they're not your friends i know it's hard to let someone go <laughs> just kidding um <laughs> it's definitely hard at first but know what's good for you and only keep that because if you have something unnecessary in the side it's just not gonna go well okay next question okay so i know a lot of people who make less less whenever they're having problems and i actually don't know why they do they'll never be the answer on their problem it will just make the situation worse guys i know a bunch of people can relate to this well everyone has their own personal battle and you know it's hard but the least we can do is to encourage them like despite what they're going through like send them a message like every day just say like you're loved you have friends you know you can always talk to me it it really helps if they know that someone's there for them then pray for them do a simple prayer um in school if you see them around or if if he or she is your schoolmate reach out and be like hey bro hey sis you loved you know like the basic encouragement so i feel like when that comes like when the encouragement comes 
they'll feel more they'll feel appreciated despite what they're going through that's a challenge i'm gonna give to you guys try encouraging someone every day just give them a message and be like hey you know what you look awesome today you know just those basic stuff I feel like that will really make a difference. How to deal with broken friendships. Accept the fact that they're not your friend. Because if that person did not give the effort to make the friendship last, then it didn't matter. Ooh! Friendships that don't last are not meant to last. Like if there are seasonal friends and forever friends. Seasonal friends are only for a specific season. Maybe you're meant to learn from them. Maybe you're, you know, maybe they're supposed to help you in a certain season. But there are some friends that are really going to stick by you forever. And those are the friends that we're aiming to find. Who doesn't want the forever friend, right? Grade 10 advice. Grade 10 advice. Well, I'm in grade 10 now and I'm homeschooled. This is advice in general. If you go to school, don't depend on other people. Because that will just let you down and it's just not a good idea. I just wish someone told me this when I was still in regular school. Because I would always get carried away with, you know, what, what was happening. But then honestly, you can't change the situation but you can change how you act towards it. And I learned that and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Wait, what other grade 10 advice? Okay. Don't cram. Don't let anybody else um, get in the way of your studies. I feel like this generation has to learn how to step up and really help other people so i feel like now my advice i can give you is don't be shy i feel like a lot of people can be really shy to come up to a person i can definitely relate to that because i was shy before i don't know people shouldn't be afraid anymore because it's just it's unnecessary to be shy if god tries to use you if if you're ready for God to use you, He will really use you and you'll have to be ready to jump in to be used. Be focused. Don't get shaken by what other people have to say because that won't matter in five years or a year. So I feel like now, whatever battle you're going through, it's only temporary. So don't dwell on it. Feel it for a moment and don't let it drag you or else if you let it drag you, it's just not healthy for you and it's just not gonna help you grow. Okay, let's just set the makeup. Whew. And I'm going to be starting my day um, with school. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it would be so awesome if you, yeah, you would go down below and press that subscribe button and give this video a big fat thumbs up and also comment down below what you want me to do for my next video and also follow my Instagram for updates. Anyways, so yeah, I'll see you guys and I upload videos every Friday. Watch out for new content. So yeah, don't forget you're loved, you're beautiful, you have a purpose and God loves you so much. See ya!